apologize. I did not know that was from my end. Learning new things. So, I'm excited. I'm very, very excited. Um, so I'm gonna go through um, what's in my kit um, and uh, a couple things that I'm, I'm going to be going over and goals for, for this upcoming year. So um, goal number one is to represent uh, Florida community and like be amazing um, and kind of change some of the perspectives here that's happened in the um, adult community um, and the fetish community. Um, so I'm going, I'm going to be doing some interviews here and such like that with uh, community leadership that deals with um, more Hispanic and Latino and the Onyx Pearls and things like that. I'm hoping to get in touch with all of them. Um, community leaders who run dungeons, like that would be super cool and really trying to work and pull together in the community. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I also will be doing a lot of online classes here um, and if you'd like private classes please let me know uh, I'm more than happy to set up something via zoom with you and like sit down and do a class uh, and I, I want to, to do more um, what is going on okay sorry my light is acting up today there we go okay so I, I want to be setting up more classes and things like that for you guys. So you guys have technical know-how because it's a pandemic and I don't know when I'm going to be able to see you all in person to give you hugs and such and to be ecstatic <clears throat> about this with y'all. So in the meantime, I'm going to be teaching on here um, and some of the stuff will be going back up on YouTube um, for filming and such like that. So you guys get a good technical know-how on how to clean things. Now, the more racier stuff will be on my OnlyFans content. Um, because I can't show you guys how to clean whips and floggers um, on here. That's that's just a plain thing on Twitch. I just, I can't do that. Um, but it'll be up on there for purchase and such. Um, I also, I am going to be starting and launching a website. I am hoping by the end of January it should be up and functional and running. Um, I'm going to be having pins. I'm going to be having stickers on there. Um, and a couple other merch things. The biggest thing is actually I'm going to be selling a small miniature boot black kit, which comes in a nice bag. I have everything in here, but the directions right now. Comes with a sticker to support me, uh, a nice dauber brush, a toothpaste, to toothbrush, not toothpaste. Another thing that's in my kit. Um, a nice rag. Um, they're all cotton cleaned and sent out to you. They are used though. They're, they're rags. They're, they're my husband's. They're, they're used for a reason though. Um, oh, this came with another sticker. Um, and this also comes with two products in here. This comes with a thing of open offs, uh, deep conditioner LP, which is my personal favorite and a thing of saddle soap as well to help clean and we can shine together. And I'm real, real excited about that. Um, and yeah, so we're going to be doing that. Um, and we're going to be going through on what's in like my bigger kit here. So my, and it will come with also a small extra special gift that I don't get to show you guys yet. And directions and all my contact info and how to get a hold of me and things like that. So I have my giant kit here and my kit has changed and grown and updated. Um, when I first started in 2015, I was given a can of Hubbard's, a little bit of saddle soap and a small dauber brush. Since then, my, my kit is about half size of me. It comes with locks, it comes on wheels, it goes everywhere and is super, super fun. So, um, we're gonna dive through on what's in my kit um, and we're gonna talk about why I have stuff in my kit because that's also the other important thing. So, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and, and let's try to take off half the kit right now. It's too heavy. I'm cute and it's too heavy. Oh, come on. Oh, it's attached in the back. I apologize. I've had this kit now for, God, almost three years. So it does things. So I have my kit here. Um, I'm gonna start putting stickers on here from events and things like that. It's my leather pride flag, which I got from FLFP a few years back. I got my new girlfriend sticker on here, which will be available for purchase. I also have the critter pride flag from Pop Agus. Um, 
and oh, I've been putting stickers on here from friends and things like that as well. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open my kit for you guys. It's super pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and do the little, little, little deep cleaning and organizing because uh, I've been busy these last few weeks. Okay, so I have Q-tips in here. Um, these are good for small details and like pulling out too much muck out of the stuff. Um, I just have grease pens. I do need to get back to Pop Bandit. I do have my own set coming in. Um, these are great for Doc Martens. Um, I had just run out. That's kind of why I didn't have any. Um, so these are great for Doc Martens and uh, white lacy boots to really kind of help bring back them up. They're, they're China grease pens. You can pick them up on Amazon. I have some files here to help get off gunk. I also have these little itty bitty dauber brushes, which are great for edge coats. Um, and we'll get into that a little later. I also have here some black nail polish and some clear nail polish. And what these are for is to kind of um, clear coat and edge the, the grommets and eyelids and things like that. Um, I also have here a couple lighters. They, they float around the kit. I have several dozen because uh, they go missing quite often. So. I do have several dozen. Um, my favorite one is the cigar lighter because it provides more directional flame. And I don't have to worry about 20 billion things going wrong. I mean, you can chink in my fingers 25 million times. Um, I also have a mini set of scissors for super, super long um, threads and things like that. So those get used if I don't want to burn. I also have here a eraser. And this is an eraser from, um, like, a shoe stuff. Not shoe stuff. Oh, my God. This is, like, a school eraser. It's just, like, a nice white eraser. It's good to help get off, like, scuffs on the toe and help fill them in. Um, you can also, like, double it with Lincolns, which I find is a really good um, way to do that as well. I have a whole bunch of cotton balls, which are always nice and easy to do, along with um, some beauty pad makeup and sponges to help apply leather paint. Um, and match that because that does happen where you come across colored leather and you kind of have a scuff um, that's too badly damaged and too pulled off. So kind of matching it with the leather paint and then going back in with the sponge brushes to make sure you have the nice even coats. I have a whole bunch of daubers here and as you can see all my stuff does have these little red tags on it. They usually say girlfriend on them but uh, sometimes they wear away and they always need to replace them. Um, and they also have black or brown on them. So my blacks just stay with my black leather, and my browns stay with my um, colored leather and such because black sometimes has a lot more polish, a lot more dirt on it. And we go ahead and like want to keep them together and connected. I also have here white saddle soap and yellow saddle soap. Now they are the same product. People get preferences and picky and this is why I have both. Um, now for white colored leather, I usually do like to use the white, but again, paranoid. I will be trying out some fun boot black experiments on here. I have a couple uh, bigger brushes in here. And these two bigger brushes are for cleaning purposes. So if I have like a giant piece of leather, I will go ahead and scrub them down with the big saddle soaps. A dauber brush has fallen to the bottom of my kit. What the will I do? Pick it up and put it back. Because I'm a cool girl. So if you have any questions about this stuff, please reach out to me. I'm more than happy to go through. I can link you these things. Most of this is from Amazon, and if not, it is from our local um, supply store and chain. I also have these other large polish brushes, which is what these used to be once upon a time. Um, and these are polishing and buffing brushes, so these go on after the polish and such and after your conditioner and you help brush everything out um, and buff it all on out. I also have here a small bowl with, it's in here somewhere, it rolled around probably, I'll find it, I'll find it, oh, seriously, where did it go? Giant kit, nowhere fun thing. Um, ah, there it is. It was under my polish brush. I also have here a, a uh, men's shaving brush bowl, which is also just another fun way um, to boot black with interpersonal skills. And uh, you can actually clean with this as well. This one is just for black. 
Um, and it's it's fun to hold in your mouth and run around with. It's it's super fun for that type of stuff. Um, I have here a magic eraser, which um, is important to get some gunk off and scuffs. Um, can help with that as well. I have some shoelaces here, which are always good to have a backup. I have a lot of personal cards and thank you stuff. So those are really like my mementos. I also here have another polishing brush. Now this is just for black. It has a cute heart on it. I got this at our local tractor supply. Um, I also am now starting to carry because I, I am anticipating to do some events in 2020. And I don't know how that is shaping up to be, but I do already have a uh, sanitizing spray in here. And I do plan on spraying and cleaning my brushes in between each client. So if I do have to go to an event, at least I have a backup on how to clean things. Because I want to make sure that you guys stay safe. Oh, so many of these little bullies just want to stay over her. <coughs> stay in their spot. So polishing brushes, sanitizing cream. I also have um, my leather wallet, which stays in here. Um, and in case I do need to leave my kit, um, I take all the money with me, so, but this kit is worth a lot of money as well. So everything kind of travels in with me. So I'm go back here. I also have some fabric glue to help, uh, stick down things at the events and things like that. I have toothpaste, which is great to get off gum off the bottom of your shoe. Um, do you have it? Peanut butter works great as well. I also have some hot glue sticks to also kind of help glue back shoes together in a pinch. Um, I used to carry JB well, but uh, I don't feel like sitting on shoes for several hours. Um, I also have little itty bits of super glue as well. Again, say, so this is kind of like repair in a very quick pinch. And uh, we're going to hope and pray that your stuff stays together. I have small toothbrushes, a variety of sizes, to help um, scrape, scrape out all the stuff in the welt. I also have a Sharpie to write my name on everything. Again, it's a girlfriend. They're also good to um, kind of scuff in. I have a leather paintbrush. Um, if you've been following me for a while, I um, did some experiment work with a conditioner and I hand painted on my conditioner that day. Um, I also have beeswax and this is um, locally sourced to help um, keep the zippers and such super tacky in the middle and things like that. It's super good for that to rub it on in and that way you never have a stuck zipper. Also another small brush and this is actually for suede because I actually do clean suede as well. This is um, my scraping brush to scrape off leather once people say hey this product's just too hard and I see that it's unfinished and like you don't want to work with it. I will um, sometimes actually scrape off the back of the leather and try and put it in the sun if possible. And I also have another suede brush just for the suede, so they stay separate. And I have a burn cert to finish off my leather edges. I also have here uh, a lens cleaning cloth that just stays in my kit. I have big old glasses. Um, I have my keys in here to lock my kit and run away. And I also have some change and um, these lovely, um, let me see. These are pin backs for your pins. That way you don't get stabbed in the booby and all those good things. Um, Cause those are not fun. So yeah, that's that's what's in the top portion of my kit. Um, and it's 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 just what, what comes with me everywhere when, when I'm boot blacking professionally and such like that. I'm super excited. Um, <laughs> I always said if I went international, I'm so happy I have a kit that I can just break down in half and you know, not take half of it with me, but now I fear I'm going to have to break, to take all of it with me because I never know what I'm going to run into because that's my life. Oops. Oh no, he's asleep. Oh, my husband's asleep. Okay, so that's that half. So if you have any other questions, about uh, the contest I won, please let me know. Please ask away. Um, I'm just gonna ramble on on stuff in my kit. There's also the second half to my kit, it's giant. Um, so yeah, please ask. Um, I plan on 
I sat this morning in our, our favorite cafe um, where we got married um, and where my husband and I, well, I, I mostly sat there and plotted on what I plan to do with him this next year. And I, I plan to do a lot and I hope I can uh, be a like, source for community. Um, so the other half of my kit is where I keep all my rags. I also have um, a spare metal lid for um, ice water to go in and such to go for high polish and high shines. And it's a good place to put um, all my edge coat brushes because those guys get gross and uh, super disposable. And they need to go places. Um, my other half of the kit has a Baby Yoda sticker from one of my dear friends. It also has all my rags. It also has these guys right here. And what these guys are are polishing brushes. And these are homemade. So these are just wrapped up with a loose sock that uh, no one can find its mate. Um, and it is uh, done with pantyhose. This is all just old pantyhose that I had lying around. And it's to help polish it right on in. Um, and I have two different separate ones. This one's my black one. My white one has a white string around it. So that's those are those boys another daughter um, I think, oh. Oh. come here boy you just want to stay stuck boy okay so i have a lot of products here <laughs> I, I i like product hoarding but it's also based on community need um and based on like what i run into and things like that now i I'm a boot black, but I'm always constantly learning and constantly experimenting. Um, cause not, I don't know everything about leather. I'm gonna flat out about that. I do not know everything about leather, but I love learning everything about leather. Um, so I have here, we're gonna go from top to bottom. I have Fidver's Mink Oil. And this is good for your um, thin leather, your, your play, your your uh, cheap, fun kink leather. The ones that cost you 20 bucks from China. I have here, and that's a conditioner. So, Oy. I also have here some um, Ovenos, the free company's um, waterproof dressing, and this stuff is really awesome if you live up north in Chicago. Um, and it really helps seal in your boots and things like that if you're going to be traveling up there because it's wet and salty and that stuff will save your life. Um, I have here a product of Saphir's um, Black and it's a parade gloss. It is super pretty. I love it. Two pieces. This is the new one. Um, so this is for high shines. This is my, that's my favorite product for high shine. I can't recommend it enough. Plus it's quick. I have Kiwi's Neutral, Kiwi's Black. I also, not Kiwi's, I have Lincoln's Neutral and Lincoln's Black in here. I also have a Lincoln's Blue as well. I don't know why it's all the way down here. Probably because I threw it in there because I'm a cute kid. Yep, Lincoln's Blue right here um, to help give more shine options. I also have Kiwi's Parade Gloss, which I have a feeling is about to go. I may need to pick up more. Oh no, we're good, we're good, we're good. I forgot I melted it down a few months ago in the oven because it had cracked and done some horrible things. But now the, the lid of it has just been great. Just a little stand. Trouble. There we go. All right. I also I'm gonna get to those in a minute. I also have here in Jealous um, black polish as well, and they're neutral. I just again I never know who I'm gonna run into, and I have um, the Kiwi's neutral and a small thing the Kiwi's black because I used to only polish with Kiwi's, and it is hard. I learned better. See, we learn, we grow. I also have here um, Chelsea's Black and Chelsea's Neutral. Um, this is for leather food. These are great at uh, contests and such like that when you need to blacken up something in a hot pinch. Super great and super great if you're doing colored leather. So really quick to, to brush it on up. I also have here, oh, get in. Some more 
Here's the Fierce products. More black and a neutral. And they are super shiny. I also have this uh, conditioner one, which I wish to experiment with. I have not played with this yet, so there may be a video where we, we do a little experiment with some boots and see how this one ends up. I have my favorite conditioner, which is Open Offs. Uh, heavy duty LP. I can't recommend this enough, especially if you live here in the south. Um, I live where it is stupid sandy and there are a bunch of cockroaches, so I do not like them. This stuff doesn't attract it as heavy, and I appreciate that. I have a can of Hubbard's, which is down here in Florida. This stuff attracts cockroaches in sand, and it's pine tar. I know a lot of people love it. It is not my favorite product to work with down here. But up north, people love this. I get why. I, I totally understand. And I love the fact that you can do a lot of uh, food play with this. And it's food safe. And you can lick it off people and boot worship. Um, and if that's your jam, like, I'm proud of you. More power to you. I personally don't like using it. Um, I also have here a bottle of Fibbard's Edge Coat Black. So this is to help blacken the soles of your shoes back up when they start getting foggy and old. Which is always super, super fun. It's everything that's in this lovely little box here. Alright. We get to go diving now. I have here um, a box of leather acrylic paint um, from Angelus. So I have just the base models um, and the base colors that they usually provide their colored leather in. I've got the, the blue, the yellow, the dark blue, the white, um, the green, the pink, the lavender purple the black um and that's always good if you have like a really weird scrape on your fun colored leather or need a color match um and all that stuff and i have here my apron and this is usually what i wear when i am boot blocking so you'll definitely see this on the channel um and it's got puppy paw prints on one side for all my puppy events i love going to and it's got pockets it's got really cute cute ass pockets and the other side has my leather pride stuff. Um, and this was actually, I won this in a basket at FLFP a few years back. Um, Jiggly Jordan made it and I absolutely adore it. I actually was bidding um, a pup friend of ours for it. And I didn't know he just wanted the puppy toys and he didn't know I just wanted the apron. And I'm like, we should have worked together and stopped high bidding each other up on this. Cause like, I think I spent like 150 on it. On a basket and all I wanted was the dang apron. <laughs> But I was happy to do it. It was for a good cause. Um, I have here so many rags. So many freaking rags. That's my life. Um, I have usually all my extras down here. I also kind of keep my bottles down here in the bottom. So this is my bottle of water. And it's distilled water. Um, so it has no impurities. But if you have regular water and that's what you got, it works. I personally just don't do it. I have a bottle of 1 to 10 alcohol solution, and this is good for pulling stuff up and working on your high shines and polishes. This will help bind and work things out. I have here some nitrate gloves, which are great for shining. A lot of people do shine with gloves. I usually shine with my hands, but as of right now, because of COVID, we're going to be shining with gloves um, if I'm at an event. So, But these are all nitrate free. Um, and I keep these instead of latex because I know a lot of people in the community have latex allergies. So I've got to keep myself some protection. I have these mini camping lights, which are great. Oh, I think the battery died on this boy, but that's okay. Oh no, he's alive. It's just, he's really light now. We need to replace your batteries. There we go. Wee. So we're going to replace you soon. Also has a hook, which hooks on the kit. It has a nice magnet as well. I picked these up at our local Lowe's. Um, I know I have two of them in here. Some more rag. Another magic eraser. I have duct tape in here so I can mark and label all my things. And there it went. I have here a bottle of Voodoo Blend leather um, conditioner. And if you want something that will darken up your leather by an accident, this is it. You also have to hand brush it on. So this product's super fun, um, but it works. It works on cars. So, hey, you find this in the car section. I decided to experiment because it had been sitting in my kit for a while. And I'm like, let's do this experiment. I have clothespins to help hang up leather that's going around. 
um, especially at events. If I'm doing more than like 200 pieces of leather, clothespins will help hang stuff and make stuff magical happen. Also, duct tape is great for hemming leather in a pinch. So if you just get a new pair of leather pants in the vents and they're way too long for you, you can hem them up that way. Fun small tricks. Um, extra Obanoffs, because you know I need that in my life. More rags. Now, Barbasol. Why do I carry thick, rich, creamy shaving cream? And it is actually for glitter. I detest glitter so much. It is the craft herpes of the world. Um, and so I actually use Barbasol and uh, use this in the toothbrush and I'll scrub your leather and get out with a cotton ball to get all that freaking craft herpes off your vest and things like that. Um, more Obanoffs. And more Obanoffs. Can you tell it's my favorite? <laughs> so I have like four jars. I've got more lying around. I have another thing of kiwis because it used to be my favorite. I have sweet cleaner in the bottom, and this is just the Kiwi suede cleaner. There's nice directions on the back, and it has the brush. Now, a few years ago when I was being a baby boot black, and this is this is a good thing for baby boot blacks, and I highly recommend. Things are expensive. Go dumpster diving. Um, thrift stores for shoes are amazing. When I was like, I really want to learn how to clean and slay, because I, I run into it from time to time. Um, I actually picked a set of dining room chairs for our house that had blue ink on the brown suede. And I learned how to scrub all my suede. <laughs> so my chairs now do not have a lick of blue pen on them. Uh, this is also a suede protector, which goes on after. I also have a giant thing of liquid glycerin saddle soap. Um, now I like I like regular saddle soap, but you can also use glycerin and glycerin bars and such like that. Some people do this. I usually do this on like bigger pieces, like a lot of more motorcycle jackets, because like I find that this leaves like a little bit of a film, and you want to like protect that a little bit differently. So that's where that one comes in. Uh, wait, more cotton balls and spare. My safety, my extra um, shears for fabric cutting. Happens, does things. Also, my kit, which I took out because I couldn't fit in anymore, was, um, and now it sits on my shelf, but I highly recommend it, is Beyond Boot Blacking by Daddy Wendell. Um, it is a great starter book. You can find it on Amazon. I need to make an Amazon page for all the things that I personally use. I'm going to be sending to you. So I need to add that to my website and such. But yeah, so that's everything in my kit. Um, so within this next month, I will have my own website on where to buy all the fun goodies and such. I will be posting on my YouTube channel way more. Um, and I'll be trying to do more content things for you guys. I do plan on doing some type of leather care at least once a week for y'all. And uh, maybe if, if you guys are lucky and I'm, I'm up for it, maybe some video game stuff. I know that's what Twitch is mostly for. But honestly, that's, that's kind of like my goal right now. And then to kind of plan for internationals and do all the fun things. So I'm gonna put some of this stuff back. Um, make sure to always tighten these boys. If I am traveling, I do put these in their own separate Ziploc bags as well. That's super smart to do. Plus they usually just hang in there or on the handle. If you want to get in touch with me, I will be on Twitch. I am here on Instagram. I do answer my emails there. Um, I am on Only Friends. I do all that stuff there. I also have a Twitter I'm learning how to use, so be patient with me on that. That one might take me a minute. Oh. And yeah, so I hope you guys all had fun. Um, if you have any follow-up questions on things I'm going to do this year or want to follow me, like, cool, come on. We got this, but uh, I hope I hope you guys have an amazing day. I hope you are staying safe, um, and I hope you guys are gonna learn a lot this year along with me. And I love you, so I'll talk to you soon. Bye.